she not letting me no, you're not going. check my bag. You're not going, period. Should I be tripping on you? These decisions ain't easy. Believe me, I know it's hard to read me. And I know these girls I'm getting greedy. Cause I can't find one that knows how to treat a man. I'm just really trying to understand. Who really trying to know who I am? Cause right now I can't even trust my friends. I wanted to have lunch outside, but it's okay. I had to come home and get right. But anyways, I'm starving, and I'm about to make me some lunch. Y'all, I've been drinking bone broth. <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta get, y'all gotta start drinking bone broth, okay? Because it has so many benefits. It's crazy. Bone broth has collagen in it, so it's gonna help with your hair, skin, and nails, girl. Yes, hair, skin, and nails. And most importantly, it's gonna help with your joint health and also your immune system as i'm getting older i need help with my joints baby okay i'm getting you know oh yeah so i started drinking bone broth y'all and the bone broth that i use is by kettle and fire it's so easy to make all you gotta do is pop it in the microwave or, you know you can heat it up on the stove and the reason why i like kettle and fire is because it's from the best ingredients it's made with bones from organic free range chickens i like that kettle and fire doesn't have any additives no extra sodium no antibiotics no artificial flavors girl i place my order online and on kettle and fire's website you'll be able to place your order on based on your dietary needs taste you know your preference girl to fit your your lifestyle on their website i placed a bundle order because i wanted the weight loss um bundle so that is what you know my lifestyle is right now losing weight so that's what kind of bone broth you know i wanted to incorporate in my lifestyle and yeah so you'll be able to do that as well on kettle and fire's website all you need to do is click the link down below and you'll be able to use my code to save 20 percent off your order so thank you so much kettle and fire for sponsoring today's video so yeah i'm about to make this and yeah we finna get started with our day because i'm starving
I just finished my late night yoga class. Took a shower and now I'm about to go to um, Jeremiah's house because his friend is like a chef and she's cooking over there and he was nice enough to invite me but they're having lamb chops and surf and turf, lobster, all that but I'm gonna just do lobster <laughs> because I really want to watch myself. Hopefully she made some veggies that I can munch on as well um, but yeah I'm about to make my way over there got this bun situation going on because i don't have my extensions in but yeah i smell really good right now and this is the vibes for a little chill day so i'm about to be on my way over there because he looks kind of far um so yeah so i'll probably check in with y'all once i get over there so it should be a good time it should be a good time i'll stop dance <laughs> So y'all just got to Jeremiah's and this lovely lady right here is preparing a dinner for all of us. This is a full house, baby. Okay, period. So we are having what's on the menu? Surf and turf? That's what you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fried lobster tails and lamb chops. Yay. Truffle mac and cheese. Truffle mac? Yeah, truffle, truffle mac, mac. Yes, truffle mac. Ooh. and cheese. Truffle mac. Truffle mac. Ooh. Ooh. You know, Make it without trouble. Well, I can't I'm wait. Out. I'm excited, y'all. Yes. Okay. I broke out that night. She I can't eat truffle. Like, you can't eat no. You don't like truffle? I Fair. love truffle. I just so like I can't use the truffle, truffle grilled cheese. But wait, you say you do this for, Man, like, yes, you be too. cooking. It's kitchen couture. Okay, period. I'm going to have it right here on the screen, y'all. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all go follow her. Okay. I can't wait. I'm excited. Yes, I want wine. Yes, I want wine. I'm upset. Fifty thousand on my head is disrespect. So offended that I had to double check. I'ma always take it. Um, this is a city. No, what's in my bag? Booty? No, in my bag. right now and it's uh, Jay Bella's oh, turn. Yeah, girl, I'm gonna be out shooting booty and shit, girl. 
ass gonna go up. No. 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 Like everything. Yeah. Uh, oh, what the oh, 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 Star. The hero. Oh, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, the man with the football. He got a football. He got a football. He got a football. He got a
Y'all, I am so horrible with time management. I have to get better. Oh my God, my arms hurt so bad. They're so sore from working out. Y'all, I can barely move my arm. My arms feel, feel restricted. But y'all, I have to get better with time my time management because I'm supposed to be in Houston. And before I went to Houston, I wanted to film a video first because obviously gotta work first, priorities. So, but my hair or lashes weren't done. So I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna do it without that. So I got that done last night. Was going to do it last night. Too tired. I need to start, like, stop thinking I can do stuff when I know I'm going to be tired. Because, y'all, I'm one of those people that at 10 o'clock, if I'm a morning person, so I get up early. And after, like, 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock, I'm out. Like, I cannot go any longer. So, usually I'm in a bed like 10, 11 o'clock, like literally. And I knew I was going to try and like thug it out, but I'm like, nah. So, I changed my flight. And then I had um, appointments to go to this morning. And I just tried to come back home, get my clips in, because I really wanted it to be a good video and take my time with it. So, stuff wasn't just going right. I wasn't getting it at first. Um... Because when I'm filming a sit-down video, sometimes the lighting can be off. Um, my camera can be out of focus. I got to make sure everything is good. It's just uh, it's just a, a lot that be going on with sit-down videos. So, I missed my flight. And then, yeah, I just need to start planning out my time better. So, I don't have to go through this. Like, so I can make everything. So, I can... You know, have a work and playtime balance and not miss stuff. And I just have to have, I need to get better with myself. So, but I didn't go to Houston today, but at least I got my video finished. Um, so I'm about to look at the clips now. I'm trying to change my flight to tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Um, <laughs> and I need to go to sleep, but... Um, yeah, cause tomorrow I'm going to brunch. I really can do my makeup. Mm, maybe I can go at 10. No, I'm just going to get up. But anyways, I was outfit planning for tomorrow. Cause I don't know if y'all are familiar. I'm not really familiar. I just got introduced to, um, what's going on in Texas right now, but it's a Houston rodeo. It's basically like a carnival. Um, I feel like it's like Summerfest where I'm from, but I guess it's like a huge festival that goes on in Houston and Jeremiah. I think that's where I was supposed to go to today. I think he went there tonight, but oh God, but I'm going to, um, go there tomorrow, but there's a brunch we're going to first, um, and then at night, I mean, then later on in the day, we're going to go to the carnival. So, and I'm excited to try um, the foods they have there. I really shouldn't be eating, but, you know, whatever. Um, So, I'm just outfit planning for the festival. So, this is the shirts I'm going to wear. Cargos. And um, this bag, because I might get a picture. And, and then for the actual brunch, I'm just going to keep it simple. Leggings, a top, and probably a jacket. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to pack that stuff in my suitcase. But I'm trying to change my flight right now. And that candle smells so good since I was 26. But, y'all, my arm hurts so bad. But I really need to pack this stuff up in my suitcase and just be ready to go in the morning because I'm not going to be playing around and playing these games. So I really need to take my makeup off and do some skincare and go to bed if I'm going to make this flight. But let me change it first and then I'm going to pack my stuff and then, yeah. So... 
I'll check them with y'all a little later. Um, but yeah. <laughs> y'all, it's currently 2.25 in the morning. And I just changed my flight. Delta just got back to me. <sighs> yeah. I don't play about my sleep. And my arms hurt so bad. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Like I can't even lift my arm, y'all. So I'm about to just pack my suitcase real quick. But I have, I still have my clothes from when I was supposed to go out the country from my birthday trip in my suitcase. So I need to take this out. My neighbor's sleep. <laughs> So I can turn my light on. Ow. I don't know. I just feel like when I turn my light on, it just, it draws attention. Especially at night, you know? Anyway. So I have all of my clothes from my trip. I'm not showing y'all this because I'm doing like a whole vacation haul. So don't look at this. Mm, oh my god oh my god i want to go to sleep i'm in a big mood get over there oh y'all we gotta try this bra on y'all seen on tiktok i must i'm gonna see how this looks before i pack it but why am I up so early? Why am I up like this? Okay. So. Suitcase is clear. I'm bringing these underwear. Y'all. Best un underwear from Skims. Fits everybody collection. Got so many. But I have. Um, yeah. I only need like three pairs. It's only for a day. You just never know. So. <sighs> what is this? This tank. Okay. Let me go get my clothes real quick. Okay, y'all. Um, so. I'm gonna bring my neon bag. I like to put my, my shoes over here. So, I think I'm just gonna wear my language shoes to the airport. So, so, I have to wear heels because we're going to a brunch. So, my go to shoe is my, are my Givenchy boots, heels, whatever. So, I'm gonna bring these and then pack the shirt. Oh my god, I can't even fold my shirt. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna change it to these cargos for the festival. I really need to go to sleep for like a little second though. But I can really sleep in the room because the brunch isn't until 12 and I get there at 8.30. So, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. I can get ready at 11. Uh, get my luggage over where. And then I just need to pack um, a... Um, what's it called? Airport outfit for tomorrow. And that's it. And my pajamas. So what's that game? Wait, his luggage. 
and she didn't allow me to check okay. my bag. What's your name? What's your seat? Cairo. What's your seat? 22E. That is unacceptable. But it's okay. I'm going. You're going too slow. I gotta change you. I gotta do that. Sweetie, slow. you can go. You can lead the no, way. I can't leave you, here. you came and got you're not leaving me here. Where am I gonna I go? I can't leave you in here. Why are you so rude and hostile? Did you wake up? Record that only you one. let this yeah, other on, you literally I let have, this other man to not check you, his bag and go on the plane. Could you call a pilot, please? Call the pilot, thank you. Y'all, so clearly we're not supposed to go to Houston. Like, this trip is like not supposed to happen because y'all, I literally, y'all just seen them clips. Like, I was happy as hell on my way to my gate, on the way to Houston for the turn up at the little rodeo, shindig, all the things we had planned. No. Psych! Going up to the gate to get on the plane and mind you i'm sky priority so i i believe well i was informed that when you're sky priority they'll make a room for you on the plane like for your luggage and stuff like that but anyway so literally it was like main cabin one boarding or something like that so i'm going up to scan and homegirl's like oh you have to check your bag and i'm like like, oh no, like y'all have to make room. Like, no, there's no way. So she's like, Oh, well, you can't go. So I'm like, Nah, we just step aside. And she's like, You know, she's another, you know, black woman. And y'all, I literally have the best experience at the Atlanta airport when it comes to like making, you know, connects and stuff like that, especially with Clear Girl, because Clear Mind. Baby, like, it's not clear anymore. Like, it's so long. I don't know what's going on at this point. Like, it's not clear. Anyway, it's not fast anymore. It's like regular security at this point. So, I'm literally calling Jeremiah. I'm like, Jeremiah, I don't think I'm gonna come. Like, <laughs> cause these people are getting bugged with me. I don't, I have time, it's early in the morning. And he's like, just act like you're checking your bag and take your tag off. Um, when you were going on the plane and just there should be room and I was like, oh, yeah, that's smart. Okay, whatever So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just check, check my bag. So I proceeded to the airplane or whatever here comes this lady marching literally marching she's <laughs> She's marching and there was a man that was behind me that was checked after me like um, on his way on the plane and he got let through with his bag, like not checked And he was acting confused, like, uh, do you want me to check this bag? And she was like, no, go ahead. I was like, what? So then that's when I pulled my camera out. I was like, she really let this man go ahead with his carry-on. He had two, two carry-ons. And y'all could have made room for my skinny little Louis carry-on? Absolutely not. So, I was like, okay, and she was like, you're not going, period, period. Y'all see the videos, I'll attach the videos or whatever, but it was just crazy and uncalled for. She was very hostile. Um, they contacted me, Delta contacted me on Twitter. They were like, I'm sorry, and they gave my Sky Miles back, thankfully. But I was like, it was a traumatic experience. Homegirl was really like, like she had a bad day. I don't know what it is, the wig going too tight or what. But I was really like, wow. Y'all know I missed my flight yesterday and I missed my flight today because of this situation. So, whatever. It is what it is. Obviously, it's not meant for me to go to Houston. But this is crazy. I was like, wow. Like, I can't believe I'm really this person right now that is recording Delta's employees right now. Normally, you'll see it on the internet, you know, whatever. But I'm like, wow, I really got to record this because this is crazy. And then, y'all, she's, I'm walking back to, you know, the uh, airport. And she's like, you're walking too slow. Like, baby, why are you telling me how fast to walk? I could be crippled, disabled, whatever, mind you. But at the end of the day, no employee is supposed to tell you, like, speed it up. Like, what? No, they're not paying enough to talk to me like this. 
or for you to be acting like this, I know they're not because your wig would be crazy. But yeah, like no, I was like wow, and I'm a gold medallion, and I am sky priority always. But clearly that doesn't matter, <sighs> y'all. It has just been a day and I'm about to book me a massage because obviously my arms are like no my arms hurt so bad y'all maybe that's why I'm, I'm not supposed to go pretty much exhausted I'm tired I can't believe I had a day like this I thought I was gonna turn it up in H-Town but clearly that wasn't gonna happen but anyways I'm about to book a massage for tonight I'm about to do some work before then and then, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out because, yeah, no. <laughs> I just don't feel like, this is crazy. It's like, wow. But I really have to get better. Like, I have to get better with getting to the airport. I have to really get better with time management. They probably wouldn't have said nothing to me if, you know, I was there earlier, but I kind of overslept. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah, that's besides the point. Nobody should be talked to like that, period. But, um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and chill out. And I really just need to do some self-reflecting because clearly something I'm doing right now is just not working. I don't, I'm tired of missing my flights. I'm tired of, like, not doing things on time, on, in an order. Like, I really just need to take the steps and going in the right path and just becoming better because... I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. It's time for a change. It's literally time for a change. But anyways, I'm about to get to edit my video from last night. I'm about to, um, yeah, chill out and yeah. So I'll probably talk to y'all later on. Uh, but, but yeah. <sighs> hey y'all. So it's a little later. Ow, my arms, y'all. I've been trying to. Uh, ice my arms <laughs> get better but um yeah so i had a revolve order come in and we're just gonna do a little revolve haul so i ordered this little white romper um because i'm going on a little trip and i thought they sent me a medium but they sent me a small so i'm gonna have to return this because i called customer service and tried to hurry up and change my um order to a uh, medium and this is a small and she told me she changed it and it was so quick and easy it was just too good to be true honestly and then i just got a plain black swimsuit top because there's this look i want to do and I wanted to um, have like thin uh, straps when it came to my swimsuit, like not all thick. So we'll see how that looks. And this is by the brand Riot Swim. On Revolve, they have just a whole bunch of different brands on our website. And then I got um, some more ASOC for my guest bathroom, because I don't have any more. And then I needed some new shoes because I wasn't going to keep working out in my Zakai's because I like working out in different shoes now. My old workout shoes just wasn't cutting it for me. So I started working out with something a little bit more comfortable. And I just ordered these babies. They have these in another color, um, like nude, but they were all sold out. So I got this one. Hopefully these don't look too big on me. I'm not gonna tell y'all the size, but <laughs> I just don't want them to look too big. And it was like one of the last pairs and I thought these were really cute. So I had to grab these and yeah. So that's all I got from Revolve. Ow, my arms hurt so bad. Like this is not even funny. Like it hurts right here, right here. Like, like if something was just laying on my chest <sighs> anyway, hopefully this massage helps. But I'm just going to continue to work and I'm probably going to talk to y'all later. Later, babe.
with my arm. It's like, oh. <laughs> anyway. So y'all, I just got back from my massage. It was good, but girl, listen, my arm still hurt. So I'm just going to take an Epsom salt bath. I don't know why my arms feel so restricted. Like, ugh, I feel so immobile. Like, it's not, it's just the back of my arm when I try and bend it, it just tightens up. And I just don't know what is happening. So, I'm just going to soak in some Epsom salt and see if that does anything for me, especially for in the morning. I was going to call Aaliyah and see where she was at. Um, because I see she out drinking, but no <laughs> it's not happening for me okay nothing is happening for me god does not want me to turn up clearly he wants me to sit my monkey ass down like he does not want me out here in the streets so we're just gonna listen to the signs because i was just imagining myself trying to drink like, I would be looking like this. Like, literally, this is where my hand stops, y'all. And I just go to my, like these. Like, literally, I had to put chapstick on like that. <laughs> like, I can't move my arm. Oh, I'm so sad. Anyway. Let me just get this bath going. Um, yeah, no. We're not looking for moisture. We're looking for relaxation. But, um, yeah, so y'all haven't seen me all day. So this morning I went to Buku, um, cause like I said, y'all, my arms have been in severe pain. Um, but I drank bone broth last night and this morning and the swelling, I feel like my arms are swollen, y'all. Like it's literally, so <laughs> it's swollen. So, um, yeah, so he did the machine gun on me and we just did like recovery day or whatever yeah but last night soaked the epsom salt and i was still stretching my arm all night i can't believe this is happening to me honestly and um but yeah it's not gonna discourage me from losing weight girl i'm still you know working out. um but anyways so right now i'm about to but yeah i was just working all day and i just got done and then i'm about to go to uh Go get me something to eat from Cava. I was gonna make me something, but honestly, I made me like breakfast in the morning. I don't know why when I like make it's either I'm gonna make breakfast or I'm gonna make dinner. It's no in between because these dishes, like I am about to go ahead and take these turmeric pills with me. Well, actually, I might take these when I come back, and I'm gonna take those and um drink some turmeric tea for inflammation just so this swelling can come down because i don't know why this is um happening and i'm just munching on some um mango chunks because i'm craving something sweet right now i'm on my menstrual cycle and but you know i'm trying to make healthier choices as a mature woman would do you know <laughs> that's trying to lose weight <laughs> but um 
Yeah, so I'm about to get ready to go to Cabo. And I'm going to bring y'all with me. So y'all can see what I get. The ingredient can be found in your medicine cabinet. And not only is it highly addictive, it can be deadly. Scissor, hip hop's potent prescription. My hands so dirty from counties cash. I need to sell it I need to clean. I can't fuck the rap game up. They say I better lie. I had to show a nigga last night. I still got some gump out on me. Still got some head news on me. Still got some packages on me. Say they don't fuck with me, they cause they can't And I'm not acting like nothing I ain't She let me smash what she had my mouth Top of my bitches on my ball I'm in their pocket, their ass in trouble Got a new plug, still a plug your label Who is with the song, so the label Fuck a budget, what budget? I don't fuck with rappers, they too funny But real estate, now my money make it money Know it tastes good, if you see me puff those up I need it for a minute So y'all just got done cooking and oh my god y'all i'm really proud of myself because oh god i'm looking this because um what's it called i cleaned my kitchen yes i cleaned my kitchen and cooked in the same night i really am getting tired of waking up to a dirty kitchen every time i cook um the night before and i hate spending the morning time 
um, especially when I have things to do on cleaning my kitchen. So anyways, I am about to have a little maintenance mini hair day and also skin day. So I'm going to be washing my hair with my Redken shampoo and conditioner. I just transferred these to my Amber bottles. And then, um, oh my God, my lashes. And then I'm going to probably apply this on my hair tomorrow. It's a Redken leave-in. And then also, I did go to Ulta today. And I got a new Elemis Pro Cleanse cleansing balm um i don't know if y'all know this i don't know if i ever told y'all this but this is what i use to remove my makeup and also if i need that extra glowiness and i feel like if i feel like i have still stuff on my face i like to pre-cleanse and pre-cleanse is just a oil-based um cleanser uh to get all that stuff up and then go in with like the benzoyl peroxide the stuff that like treats acne or fights whatever you're trying to fight like your regular cleanser um you go on with that after so i like to go in with the elements first and then i'm gonna go in with this in the shower um while i'm um washing my hair and trying to avoid my lashes and then also i'm gonna apply this olaplex um, moisture mask. I'm going to have this sit in my hair overnight after I get done washing it. And then um, I'm going to probably put this leave-in treatment in tomorrow. And then I'm going to um, put this new hair serum I got in my hair as well. Um, it's supposed to help you grow. It's supposed to make your hair thicker. So I'm gonna start doing this. And then um, I also got some more Olaplex bonding oil today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be applying this throughout the week before I get my hair done. And while I'm in the shower, I think I'm gonna wash my lashes cause it's time. That's why I'm gonna just pre-cleanse in the shower. I look crazy. Anyway. So let me just hop in the shower, wash my hair, and get my little night started because I'm tired. And I just want to um, make sure my hair is good because I just took that ponytail out. So yeah, anyway. Oh, 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 oh,